This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, kickboxing according to K1 rules. Here at Arena Zagreb, FFC 27 Night of Champions, we have arrived at tonight's main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials are ready. The fighters are ready. Zagreb, are you ready? Then let's see the war we've been waiting for. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger. He weighed in at 110 kilograms with a professional record of 64 wins, 10 losses, including 33 victories by knockout. He is a multiple French Muay Thai kickboxing champion, representing Cameroon and France. He is Daniel Lunte! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 117.3 kilograms with a professional record of 51 wins, 13 losses, one draw, including 35 victories by knockout. He is currently ranked number five on the Glory heavyweight roster. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed heavyweight champion, Mladen Scorpion Sting Brestovac! <laughs> and your referee in charge of this championship bout, Mladen Kranchet. Fighters. That is what it's all about. You've heard Peter Linker giving us You're the measurement, FCC the tail of the tape, and everything that's gone on. Now, okay. this Listen is what it voice, all comes voice. down to. This is the main event. Lowers, and the there is an FFC title belt up for big grabs. When I say big grabs, because they are big men. 227 kilos. Point three. <laughs> Makes George, all the difference. George, George. George, well, I know I've said it recently, and I've said it tonight. Point. I always say it, don't blink. Still in the line there. <laughs> well, two Southpaw wow. protagonists. Yeah, it doesn't happen. Daniel, two, Dan I mean. Daniel Lonto has a, a, a look of Danny Beale about him. He, he's Danny Beale, right? Yeah, I remember him. Wow. Yeah, he's a, also for, from France, of course. Yeah. For, for me, probably, probably one of the one of the best uh, Western Thai boxers of all time. And he always looked like he hadn't trained. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what sort of scared his opponents in the fact that he looked like he hadn't trained and people just couldn't put him away because he never ran out of gas. Incredible fighter. Very, very relaxed, very composed, as as Daniel is showing right now. Well, the little, the smaller, I said the little man, I mean, he certainly is not little, but uh, the smaller in size, man, Daniel Lalente, getting his right leg really high up there to uh, Aladdin Brestovac's head. And again, <coughs> saw two there. <laughs> Goes the scorpion sting, whacks up his left leg and says, you can, I can. Well, that's the that's the common thing for for southpaws to be working on that heavy right hook, leading into the the, the left body kick. Well, obviously because because of the uh, the, the switching style, the switching stance, both guys working across that back hand, that back arm, trying to take the power hand away. <coughs> nice punch combination from Maladen. Heavy, heavy body shot. Just checking in the, checking the con ah! conditioning. Well, it's a clean fight, Richard. It's, you, I always say, ah! when you don't see the referee, okay, you know it's clean. It's, the referee stood nice and back. He's letting these guys enjoy themselves. And I use that term very uh, flippantly. <laughs> enjoy themselves. Um, they're really getting about a business and they're fighting very clean. Yeah, a beautiful right high kick there from, from Daniel. Yeah, <laughs> very dangerous <laughs> kick as well. And certainly, for a smaller stack man, he can certainly, he's got a lot of flexibility. So scheduled for three, and another FSC title belt up for grabs. One man defending. Oh, 
Nice little jump knee there from Mladen. But again, that, that back leg, back leg jump knee doesn't have the same effect on, because it's a smaller target to go for because of the two, the dual southpaw match. And I think, I think that is the very first time that I've ever seen Mladen uh, the rest of that go past the first round. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because look at the, yeah. You're right. I mean, 35 knockouts. Wow. Super impressive. And put the big guy in front of him. You know, he comes in here with 64 wins, 10 losses. He's, we haven't got his knockout ratio, but I'm guessing he must have had some knockouts in that. Oh, um, wow. Sorry, I didn't have that on my on my uh, information sheet. He's had 33 knockouts. Wow. Um, that is very interesting. So both of these guys, very much on paper, very equal. The, the blue corner there, telling him to box, box clever, box smart, play technical. I think because of the because of the height and the, and the frame difference, if he if he goes toe to toe, the bigger guy is going to win. However, if he if he plays smart and plays this kind of technical game. He can outpoint and he can, he can, he can take to the punch victory. George, time kick up, second round. Let's see if he can Fight. do it. <coughs> so here we go, round two, and the match of the southpaws. Two big guys, a heavyweight title, up for stake, up for grabs, and both very much up for this fight. The last show in the FSC series fight. Stop. Oh, and FSC 27 here in Zagreb, the hometown of the man who was born here and invented the FSC whole principle and the fights that he puts on. Mr. Osat Zavko sat to our left ringside, ably assisted by Marco Petrak, who does a lot of the matchmaking. Nicolina, all the people, Ante, all the people that do everything. Branamira, everybody who puts FSC together work really hard for this last show. And to bring so many titles um, up for grabs and the matchmaking, like I said, for me, has been absolutely spot on. Ooh, an unusual, going for a low sweep hook kick there to the back of the leg. And a tap of the glove there because he failed, but uh, allowed him to step away. That's a it's, a, it's a common technique, sweep using that kind of sit down uh, back leg sweep. Is a, is a common technique used in kind of semi contact kickboxing style, and you can tell from the from the flexibility. You can tell from the flexibility of Daniel Daniel Lonte that that's what he's looking to do. Looking to do, he's, he's playing that kind of points game. Well, I'm enjoying this fight. I'm not. <laughs> You're <laughs> saying action speaks louder than words. I'm sorry I've gone quiet, but I'm just, I'm sat here, you know, like a wide mouth frog. I've just got my eyes wide open because I don't want to blink. These two, you know, I'm going to call them experts because that's what they are. These are really good heavyweights, and I'm impressed the fact that they're not. Look at that. Boom. They are fighting very, very clean. Okay, you've just seen that little thing with again to the center, but, you know, for the rest of the part, they're keeping the, the shots clean. Oh, very clean. <laughs> Nice timing there from Maladen. Boom, big eye kick goes upstairs. That's his knockout technique. Daniel Lente in front of him. Can take it. For, for me, there's, a, there's something that seems to have changed in this in this second round. Daniel's been losing, been falling on the floor, been losing Church. position. Church. Hello, one, two. Well, he's saying he's, three, saying he's going, going, but. Five, six, seven, eight. You are ready? Hands up. You are ready? Hands up. Well, he's having none of that. He's Five. saying that he wasn't a groin shot, but he's saying it is. But yeah, you said he's, uh, he's, he's a little, he is a little bit wobblier this, this round, isn't he? He's a little bit out of sorts. Yeah. Oh. Five. Coming up to the 10 seconds, here we go. And he'll get a minute to recover. Knocked him out of sorts a bit. That stop. We can see you can see the danger shot that he's throwing all the time. Is the way that he's lifting up that that right high kick. 
he lifts it with such ease for oh, incredible. such a big guy. Yeah, and, 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 and the power behind it. I think we're just going to see a couple of the couple of the turns and a couple of the little little twists. And he tried to block that, but it just went straight through. Now where the knee, oh, the strike to the groin came from, Richard. I didn't see it. Hold there. That was no. a, Yeah. Yeah. Kind that of slot, slotted up under, underneath his leg. Yeah, those kicks, they are the knockout, concussive. Yeah. Glancing blows at the top of the head. But Mladen Brestovac out of the corner early. Last round, fight! Looking to hold the centre, looking to take control early doors in, in this in this third round. Dangerous spinning back kick. So the last round, spinning back fist coming there from Daniel Lante. The two side bars, right stance. Daniel's leg goes high again. Oh! That was a, a big right hook. A stepping right hook. Now Maladin smiles and he's wobbling. But he is wobbling. He smiles because he knows he's been hit, but also he's smiling because he said, you know what? I could have done without that. And that's, that's evened up the score now. That has evened things up. Well, Maladin knows that he has to be on it now. You can see how he's on the front foot hunting him down. He certainly is. He knows wow. he has to get back into it. Uh, that will give a big confidence boost to the man from Paris in France, Daniel Lente. Oh. And this heavyweight championship is on the line. Come on. No one more, I give you a round of official, okay? Fight! Well, Maladin's being very strict in this. Oh, again. Man. Again, That's that dangerous, right hook. Dangerous punch, that right hand. Left hook, right hook. Oh. It just keeps losing his balance. One, two, three. Now, four, I don't know if that was necessary. Five, I don't think that was a. Six. No one more. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Five. I don't know if Baladin was being a little bit overzealous there, but. I don't think that was a count myself. It's best to say stay on your feet. Yeah. He has been losing his balance. He's caught him on there. Really, really urging him on. Oh, big kick comes in from Maladin. Wraps around the back of the head of Daniel. Daniel waves him on. Stop! Stop! He's sitting down there. <laughs> He's going, to look to, he's going to go in a point off if he's not careful. Official running to get his point. Official running to get his point. Well, I know that 10-8 now. Well, he's lost that. 10-7. Yeah. Really Sorry, that's back to a 10-9, isn't it? 10-9, yeah. 10-8, yeah, he's to lost a point. Now. So, Malena's evening the score back up. Well, the bell's gone for me. I think that's the end of the fight. Well, mixed reviews from the crowd. I'm sure the 10 second hammer's gone, it has. Well, a frustrating round for the man from France there. Again, a tough call. Now he's saying he's got it. This is the 10-8, but... I think that's going to go, the point could make all the difference here. Now that was a legitimate knockdown with the knee there, but... I thought he was over, I thought he was overzealous, personally, um, but... Unless you could see something we couldn't. You did make a reference, though, to the point where he was losing balance. You did say that. Yeah, and but again, that that's not part of the scoring criteria under 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 these 
these rules. Under Muay Thai, yes. Yeah. But under 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 kickboxing rules, that's not part of the criteria. We well, can see that the way that Maladin's kind of slumping his weight onto him. He's yeah. still 117 ladies kilos. And yeah, and leading on the I'd like fall over. <laughs> Well, I'd be squished. They have declared your winner by unanimous decision and still FFC heavyweight champion. Well, he keeps Ladin it. Ladin Scorpion Sting of the rest of us. He keeps it. He is the champion. You have to take it off a champion. And Danny Lancey frustrated there in that last round. And presenting the championship belt. Makes a bit FFC of controversy to the game. Orsat Zavko. Ladies and gentlemen, still FFC heavyweight champion, your very own Croatia zone, Mladen Scorpion Sting, Brestovac.